welcome dear students today i'm going to talk about the introduction to our new course that is english 2 composition writing so here in today's lecture i'll be introducing you to the course description what kind of course it is and what it contains and secondly what are the objectives of the course which we are going to meet through these uh, readings and discussions so let's move on to course description the course focuses on the basic strategies of composition and writing skills good writing skills not only help students obtain good grades but also optimize their chances to excel in professional life so basically as is evident from the title of the course itself in this course you are going to learn different writing skills and strategies which you can use in uh, academic writing in essay writing to express yourself better and more effectively the course includes modes of collecting information how information is to be collected you will be uh, reading about different methods of obtaining information and arranging it in appropriate manner how it is to be arranged such as chronological order which is organizing your information according to uh, the time for instance what happened uh, in 1965 should proceed should come before what happened in 1970 so when you are talking about a certain topic which has progression which moves from one time to the next you should arrange your information in a chronological order this is one way of writing about that topic although it is not always compulsory to follow chronological order but it is uh, one of multiple ways the second is cause and effect how one thing causes another compare and contrast in which you talk about similarities or dissimilarities between two or more topics general from general to specific first you talk about general things and then you try to focus on something more specific so these are different manners to arrange your information it enab enables the students to write edit rewrite redraft and proofread their own document for writing effective compositions so again these are basic writing skills which are usually ignored in academ academia or by our students writing is not uh, a very simple process it has multiple things which if followed can refine your writing and make your ideas and messages more effective and easily understandable for your audience so after writing you actually go through your document and you do many things and these are some of the things in which your instructor your teacher also helps you a lot so after writing you edit it you rewrite it you redraft it and then you proofread 
you are writing on your own. So through this uh, process you actually come up with a refined piece of writing. So all the essayists that some of you must have uh, read, must have come across those who have made their mark in writing have certainly practiced these skills. This is a painstaking process. It is not simply about writing something down and then getting it published. You have to think about it again and again. You have to edit it. You have to notice how your expression, expression means how you have expressed something what vocabulary you have used and how you have arranged this uh, information. So these are minute details which are to be considered by a good writer. So these are some of the things which you will be learning in this course. The course objectives are to assist students identify the audience, message and the purpose of writing. So you must notice what kind of people you are addressing, what your message is and what is the purpose of your piece of writing. So while writing, if you keep these essential things in mind, it helps you uh, develop and express your idea accordingly. To suit your audience, you modify your message and then you bear the purpose of your writing in mind. So all these things, if present in your mind, help you express yourself more effectively. Develop rhetorical knowledge and critical thinking. Enable them express themselves in a variety of writing styles. So one thing, one idea can be expressed in a number of ways. So you have to have this rhetorical knowledge, how language can be more effectively used to convey a certain idea. It helps students write well organized academic texts including examination answers with topic or thesis statement and supporting details. So these are actually some of uh, the contents of our upcoming discussions. So if you are confused about it, about something, either you should contact me uh, for your queries or you can wait for the lectures and discussions to be shared with you which will clear up many of your confusions. So the course does not only help you write good essay, it also guides you about how to produce answers, examination answers which make you obtain better grades. So you learn about topic statement or thesis statement and then uh, you write better piece of writing, better examination answers. And finally, it makes students write essays and course assignments. So basically, as I said earlier, this is a comprehensive course on writing. It teaches you about the writing process, then how information is to be collected and organized, and then about multiple types of writing. So it guides you about examination answers, essays and course assignments. So it is not only useful for you for your academic activities but also for your uh, practical and professional life in general. After learning these skills not only your writing will improve but you will become a more conscious and more effective speaker. So I hope 
you will pay attention to uh, these contents these upcoming discussions and try to uh, do your best